about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever Man. stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Many of you do not know what sacrifice can do. There is a way you can press into the things of God and God will enter a personal covenant with you and say on account of what you have done for me, there are people who have emptied their accounts because of the kingdom. There are people who have done certain things that God vowed a vow over them and said for as long as you are alive, your children and your children's children will never beg for bread again because you have done this for me. Believers, can I tell you this? I'm not just talking about finances and the rest, but you see, in as much as I know that here and there people have been manipulated, people have been taken advantage of, can I tell you, you will never rise to certain spiritual dimensions until you sustain the grace and the power to lay down. The power to lay down is how we pick grace. The power to lay down is how we pick on common mantles. I have the power to lay it down. I told you there is a relationship between death and glory. Not everything comes by impartation. There are wells you must dig by yourself sacrifice this is the reason why the bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake do you know why because upon the altar of these vessels there is blood dripping on that altar as a testament of sacrifice you don't just tell the sick be healed and they are healed just because you saw it in the bible no sir you don't just speak to people and say may your life change and then their lives change no no let me be sincere with you in the name of honesty it takes sacrifice it is all the grace of god but the administration of that grace comes on the wings of sacrifice some of you here god is calling you and telling you at the level you are operating spiritually there are certain levels of spiritual power you cannot carry you want god to trust you with the grace over territories no sir no sir no sir it comes on the wings of sacrifice please take it high for me once upon a time in my life i locked myself and i prayed for 72 hours my eyes did not see the sun i didn't know whether it was morning or night 72 hours that you don't know whether it's morning or night my eyes did not see a wall clock listen i don't say this to brag but sometimes it's good that when you are mentoring people especially people coming fathers of faith let's be honest to tell this our dear people how god brought us here so that they don't believe it's just by some arbitrary impartation there are politicians here one of the reasons why many people we are raising do not become effective is because they ride on the advantage and the leverage that our sacrifices are provided without the knowledge of the cost when a young boy has a father who is a millionaire and a billionaire and whether or not he's ready to understand the laws of life he's given a car and houses without any sense of discipline 
that child will most likely be a lawless person. Are we together? Yes. I can tell you various points in my life. I don't know how many times I have emptied my account. I'm not saying to do that. I'm just telling you that some of these things come on the wings of sacrifice. Sacrifice. This is the secret of our fathers of faith that we so celebrate. It is more than just what you see. My dear people, let me encourage you especially for many of you that God is going to be using for the revival in this land. It is more than suits and nice clothes. It is more than just protocol, standing. All those things are just systems of convenience and order. Your attention must be on Jesus. This one thing I do, he says, forgetting the things that are behind, I press. Not just I move, I press. Stop unnecessarily pampering yourself when you have not arrived. No. It is on the seventh day that he rested. You are resting on the second day. It's not correct. God only rested on the seventh day. Many people are already resting by day two. You must constrain yourself. The discipline and the sacrifice that it takes to host the glory. In prayer in fasting in service in giving are we learning tonight so the second is sacrifice one more scripture we're done with this in first kings chapter 18 first kings chapter 18 let's start from verse 1 this was the story of Elijah. There is something for us to learn. The power of sacrifice. Please follow carefully. And it came to pass after many days, the Bible says, that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go show yourself unto Ahab. For the sake of time, let's go to verse 9, I think. So that we'll just save time. Elijah went to Ahab. And Ahab was sad and you know called him a troublemaker in israel next verse there's something i'm looking for and then please continue it says and now and now thou said go and tell thy lord behold elijah is here so elijah came and oh dear i need to search for for the sake of time it's a long reading it ends in verse 7 but let's start from verse 19 i think it's 19 give me verse 19 thank you it says now therefore send and gather me all israel unto mount carmel and the prophets of baal 450 and the prophets of the groves 400 which eat at jezebel's table there's about to be a demonstration, a manifestation of the glory of God. The God of the Bible is about to be exalted, but not without sacrifice. Next verse, 20. It says, So Ahab sent all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. Please follow carefully. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. Next verse. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only remain a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's prophet are 450 men. Let them therefore give us two bullocks. Now, he wants fire to come from heaven, but he starts with an object of sacrifice. Give us two bullocks and let them choose one bullock for themselves and cut it in pieces and lay it on wood and put no fire under back to 23 please let's finish it up and i will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood and put no fire under verse 24 it says and call on the name of your gods and i will call on the name of the lord and the god that answered by fire let him be god hold on hold on 
Many of you want the fire. Let me tell you how fire is produced in this kingdom. And all the people answered and said it is well spoken. Next verse now. Watch this. So it was the time for the prophets of Baal to start. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, Choose you one bullock for yourself and then put this and that 26. And they took the bullock, listen, which was given them, and they dressed it and called on the name of Baal from morning till noon. Now, notice the things that begin to happen. From morning till noon, that sacrifice on the altar, and they were calling on Baal. The Bible says, they said, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered. And then they started leaping upon the altar. Look at how they were changing strategies. All to call down fire. They started by invoking and calling Baal. Then they started by jumping. By the time we get to 27, it came to pass at noon, Elijah mocked them and said, Cry aloud, for he is a God. Either he is talking or he is pursuing or he is on a journey. Or per adventure he slipped. Very naughty prophet. I must be awake. 28. Now watch this. Everybody read verse 28. This was the final strategy they deployed to get the attention of Baal. One to go. And they cried aloud and caught themselves after their manner with knives and till blood gushed out of them. Stop. What did they know about Baal? That when every other thing failed, they said, Baal, we know. Since you will not accept the bullock, you will see us cut our own selves after their manner. That means someone had taught them that when everything fails, be the sacrifice yourself. You can offer sacrifices and get a, a measure of the attention of Baal. But if you want to get all of him and all else fails, more than giving sacrifices, become it yourself. This was the last card that they put on that altar. 29. And it came to pass, watch this. When midday was past, Elijah was a wise man. And they prophesied until the time of offering and of the evening. Look at when Elijah started his own. He said, use your morning. There is a timing I'm waiting for. I, I, I understand the ordinances of heaven. I want to wait until the time of the evening sacrifice. And when it was that time, he said, you have done enough. I gave you from morning till evening. That there was neither any voice nor any answer to one that regarded 30. Let's tie it up. Elijah said unto the people, come, let me show you how fire is produced. Learn this now. Are you ready to see how fire is produced? Step one, he said, repair the altar. You want fire? Step one, repair the altar that was broken down. This is fire now that is not lit by a man. Repair the altar of the Lord that is broken down. Step two. Let's hurry up. Elijah now took 12 stones according to the number of the sons of Jacob, the covenant. He brought these are the ingredients now, like a chef about to prepare a meal. We see. The repair of the altar of the Lord we see covenant now coming into the picture 32 and with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord and made a trench about the altar as great as would contain two measures of seed and he put on the wood in order and cut the bullock in pieces and laid him on the wood and said fill four barrels with water we see the ministry of the word there are you see it now these are the ingredients that produce fire genuine fire cannot come when the word is not there too so he says put water and he says pour that water on the bond offering pour 
pour the water on the wood 34 and he said pour the water again we need a lot of water for this fire for every one bullock you need serious water let the word keep pouring it do it a second time he says do it a third time and the water ran round hold on hold on hold on don't rush give us verse 30, 33 please don't rush it 33 and they did it a second time they did it a third time 34 it says and the water ran round about the altar and filled the trench with water these are the ingredients that produce fire and it came to pass at the time of the offering and the evening sacrifice that means in addition to your prayer life the altar in addition to your word life the water now you must wait for the time of the evening sacrifice and elijah the prophet came near and said lord god of abraham isaac and israel let it be known this day that thou art god in israel and that i am thy servant and i have done all these things at thy word 37 hear me O lord ah. hear me and these people may know that thou art the lord god and that thou hast turned their hearts back again 38 please talk to me and the fire and the fire fell over Jalingo and the fire fell over every local government why? because the altar of the Lord was rebuilt it consumed the burnt offering it consumed the wood it consumed the stones it consumed the dust it licked up the water that was in the strength two more verses and we're done it says when the people saw it god wants his glory seen they will never call upon the name of the lord until they see it they fell on their faces and they said the lord he is god the lord he is god last verse and the bible says elijah said take the prophets of baal let not one of them escape and they took them and elijah brought them to the brookishon and they slew them there that day the name of the lord was exalted everybody shout sacrifice one more time say sacrifice number three then we begin to pray the third key according to scripture that controls the manifestation of the glory of God is called faith the obedience of faith John chapter 11 and verse 40 there is a relationship between believing and the glory of God please read with me John 11 and verse 40 one to read Jesus said unto her the woman now saith I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe thou should see there is a connection between the manifestation of the glory of God and your faith what is faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction on who God is and the integrity of his person the name given to the action you take as a testament that you believe God is called faith faith is also the participatory condition that you have to meet connected to the blessing that you desire faith the Bible says now faith is that is the first information it gives us about faith Hebrews 11 now faith is faith is not worse faith is not will be faith is living and active and present now faith is he calls it the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen he says for by it the elders obtain a good report verse 3 says through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of god media are we walking together verse 3 he says so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear by faith can i tell you this you want to see the manifestation of the glory of god on your life you are going to have to believe god and take that step 
you want to see God build the church for himself through your hands, you are going to have to take a step of faith. Even if all you have is 100,000, go and buy sharp sand and pour it on the ground as a sign of faith. All you need to do to finish is make God become Alpha. Because if he's Alpha, he must also be Omega. Don't ask God to be Omega over what you have not made him Alpha over. Start with him. You want to pray for the sick? You must have the courage to stand before a sick body. Believing that God will raise him from the bed of affliction. You know, I share humorously. I have prayed for many, many dead people in my life. Many dead people in my life. Usually when people die, people reach me first before they eventually make up their minds to bury them. I have been locked in the mortuary, left with dead bodies alone, to pray for them. That is the price to carry the glory. If you ever will raise a dead body, you must have the courage to stand before one. I remember the first time I was taken to the anatomy lab then in Zaria. And there were dead bodies there and they just closed me. I said, now, there are dead bodies here. Which one am I going to pray for now? And they showed me the man. I stood before the man and he was like stone. Had been embalmed already. I laid my hands. I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, I call you back. Nothing happened. In the name of Jesus, I call you back. Nothing happened. In the name of Jesus, I call you back. Nothing happened. And I said, open the door for me, please. Let me get out of this place. But can I tell you this? Every time you take a step of faith, whether you see results at that moment or not, you will never live the same. Your fears will die. Listen, today you hear all of these wonderful testimonies. Can I be honest with you? It did not start from one. Many people will lie to you and make it look as if everything started from day one. It's not true. Once upon a time, I prayed for someone on a wheelchair. I remember I was full of faith. I took out time to share scripture. I mean, a thorough exegesis of the healing ministry of Jesus. And they had faith. They honored me so much when I got to the house. That man had faith. I know he had faith. And after all that gisting, all that praying, now it was time for performance. And I prayed for this man. Absolutely nothing happened. He was not even feeling anything from waist down. And after praying, ah, I said, why now? But I left encouraged. Peter's shadow does not just start healing the sick. Uh -uh. Once upon a time, he was disappointed also. And Jesus said, don't worry. You are a student in the school of the spirit. You just continue. Let me bring you words of hope. There are times that you may seem to release your faith. And not see the manifestation as yet. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. One day it will do you like a dream. You will stand before that man on the wheelchair and say, stand up. And you will join the people to be surprised when it happens. Can I tell you this? Your faith will not grow in theory. You need to be exposed to real life situations. You must learn to believe God if you want to see the glory of God. John chapter 2. The whole text is from verse 1 to 11, but then the verse of emphasis for the sake of time is verse 11. Please give us verse 11. We have to start praying. Please read with me, believers. After turning water to wine, here's what he said. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in the Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory. Wow. So one of the ways that we manifest the glory of God is in miracles, signs, and wonders. Last scripture, Mark chapter 1. Let's see how Jesus came as a revelation and the manifestation of the glory of God. Mark chapter 1. 
Let's start our reading from verse 21. Please pay attention, Jalingo. Pay attention, body of Christ. And they went into Capernaum, he says, and straightway on the Sabbath day, he entered into the synagogue and taught. They were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one with authority and not as the scribes. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. Uh -huh. A statement mocking the integrity and the power and the glory of God. And cried out, 24, saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. Verse 5, Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold your peace, come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him, he cried out with a loud voice and he came out of him. The Bible says they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying, what thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commanded he even unclean spirits and they do obey him. Please go to verse 32. Go to verse 32. The Bible says at evening, just like it is in this crusade now in Jalingo. When the sun did set, they brought to him. Every time people discern that you are a carrier of God's glory, they will come to you. They will come to you. They brought to him all that were diseased and them that were possessed with devils. And all the city was gathered at the door. The plan was not to have a crusade. Jesus was just teaching. But because of the manifestation of the glory, the whole city said, come. We have discerned that the glory of God is within reach. The Bible says, and he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him. 35. And then in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out to a solitary place and prayed. You can see these patterns repeated. And Simon and they that were with him followed him. Every pastor here and everybody who loves God may verse 37 be the verse for you. And when they had found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. They seek for you. Why? Because of the glory of God. Isaiah chapter 60. And verse 1 arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you verse 2 says for darkness shall cover the earth is a Hebrew word to who wabohu confusion and chaos and gross darkness the people but the Lord shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen in you Jalingo, here's a prophecy for you, verse 3. It says, Gentiles shall come to your light and even their kings to the brightness of your rising. Are you ready to celebrate the God of wonders? Please rise up on your feet. One prayer point and then I'll begin to pray for people. Father, give me a visitation within the few minutes that we have. Let there be a manifestation of your glory upon this ground. Let there be a manifestation of your glory even within this city. Please lift your voice inside and outside. Begin to pray. Go ahead and pray. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you, Jesus, no one like you. No one like you, is it? No one like you. No one like you, Father. No one like you, Master. 
You're the God of everything. No one like you. Go ahead and pray. Lord, change my life. Change my life. Someone is praying. Please pray. Open up your heart, you who are following from whatever TV station, following online from your homes. Release your faith. The power of God is about to touch you. You are here working miracles. I worship you, I worship you, you are here, turning lives around, I worship you, I worship you, we call you Waymaker, Miracle Walk, Promise King. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. We call you Waymaker, Miracle Walker, Promise Keeper, Light in the darkness, that is who you are. I assure you that within a few minutes we have, your life will never be the same. Many of you are about to encounter grace at another level and at another dimension. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Now, please listen. We're just going to do three or four things very quickly. Number one, just help those under the anointing. I'm going to be praying for the sick. And we'll be trusting the Lord to deliver the oppressed. Every kind of captivity whatsoever. Hallelujah. And then number two, we're going to be praying prophetically, declaring over Jalingo that the two lift gates over the city must be open number three we are going to trust God for a moment of impartation and impartation is a transference of grace and then number four we are going to declare over everyone here celebrating salvation and we are done for tonight hallelujah praise the name of the Lord now, just two quick instructions, please. Number one, whether you are an usher or not, inside and outside, please help those under the anointing. The ushers are limited and there's only so much they can do. But I want to plead with you, please. When someone is under the anointing close to you, be your brother's keeper, you just help them. It will not interrupt your own prayer. The Lord wants to have a convocation of his presence in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. I believe in miracles. I truly believe in the performance of the word. I believe that the word of God must find expression. I believe that in the midst of God's people, having taught the word with power, there must be a demonstration of the reality of the power and the grace of God. And don't just watch and celebrate what God is doing. That your heart is also opened for this to become your experience. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you pray in one minute? Lord, anything that must leave my life now. This is the moment for it to go. Go ahead and pray. Thank you, Jesus.
Hallelujah. Now I want to pray for you. Please pay attention. Pay attention. There are angelic activities in this place now. The Bible says, But upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness, and then the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. I want to pray right now. And please, I want you to help them. Just bring those under the anointing if you can. And I'll minister to them so that they can go. But I want to declare, there are forces that have sat over the destinies of men. That will not let men to find visibility. Some of you age-long captivities. I want to pray for you. Now the Lord is that spirit. There are many spirits, but this one is that spirit. And the Bible says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Father, I want to pray. At the count of three, I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus. That name that has been exalted above every other name. And as you shout that name, every force that is not ordained of God, sitting over the destinies of men, that wall must come down right now. Are you ready? One two three shout jesus now i decree and declare that every power that is not of god give way now i command every force that does not name the name of christ let god's people go now let god's people go now bring them out I command every power, every operation of witchcraft, every demonic orchestration, be delivered now, be delivered now, be delivered now. Bring them out. Listen, can I tell you this? The Lord is delivering people here. There are many of you who have been victims of delay. Everything moves forward except your life. I decree and declare, let fire right now fall from heaven upon every In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone bow, everyone bow of the devil. I command be delivered now. Be set free in the name of Jesus. Bring them out. Just help them. Just get something so you can cover some of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. And pray. Blotting every handwriting he says. And every ordinance that spoke against us. That he nailed it to his cross. Therefore I declare. Every other spirit having access to your life and destiny. Outside of the Outside of the Christ. In the name of Jesus. The Son of the Living God, exalted over Chalingo, as both Lord and Christ, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. My deliverer is coming, my deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming, your deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming, my deliverer is standing by. Now hear me. I'm praying for families here. Any family here that doors have been shut, I come by the apostolic and the prophetic in agreement with the body of Christ, the Anglican communion, and the church over Chalingo. In the name of Jesus, I speak to close doors. Efata, be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. How 
God anointed Jesus of Nazareth the Bible says with the Holy Ghost and with power he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil it says for God was with him now for all of you in front alongside those who are scattered around every spirit that will not let you go whatever legal access it cast over you we come by the blood of the eternal covenant that speaks better things than the blood of Abel be set free now 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 be set free by the power of Jesus all hail the power of Jesus name it says bring forth the royal diadem we declare liberty right now let there be deliverances for everyone here hear me everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you hey everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen hallelujah hallelujah I'm going to pray for the sick shortly but who is Abraham I'm hearing a name Abraham just to talk to one or two people Abraham Abraham I'm hearing the name please if, if God locates you just hurry up so that we don't waste time we have to work with time who is Abraham where are you from my friend huh from Kogi State, I based Kogi in Church. Kogi State? Yes, I based in Church. The Abraham I'm seeing is wearing a bag. Like a black bag. This is what I'm seeing. Is there someone like that? Who is that? Verify. Please, hold on. Please, when I call, just don't let people come at random. Just verify. We're not acting here. What's your name? Sir, Jacob Abraham. Jacob Abraham. Yes, from sir. where? Taraba. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change, my brother. What's wrong with this man? Huh? He's okay, blind. that's all right. When I'm ready to pray for the sick, don't just just wait. When I'm ready to pray for them, don't just drag them out. You you punish the man here. Now watch this, my friend. You believe in the power of God? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you, and I declare right now, may that power come upon you and change your life. Take that fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will never be the same by the power of the Holy Spirit. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Who is Asabe? I'm hearing a name Asabe. Is there someone with such a name? I'm hearing a name Asabe. The Lord wants me to speak to you. Asabe, that, that should be a woman's name. Is there someone like that? Asabe. Asabe, like blue, you are dressed in blue or something. Is there somebody like that? Who is that? Come. You believe in Jesus? Listen, please hear me. This is not just some, some madness and jamboree, no. We are people of order and dignity and decency. Are we together? This is the power of God blessing and lifting and helping people. In the name of Jesus, my dear, where are you coming from? Taraba. Taraba here. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil. I'm seeing something tied around you. Out now! In the name of Jesus Christ. And then comes to it. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost. Yesterday, I prayed for two women 
and today I'm seeing a woman seven years. You have not given birth. Who is that? Seven years. Come. Your time has come. Seven years. Is there someone like that? Is she wearing like, is it baby pink? Baby pink. No, there is still another one. Baby pink with a hair tie that is like baby pink. Is there someone like that? Just bring them here. I want to pray for you. Nadauka ka sunanka ubangi chika isaya bo na kirma ma sunanka ubangi chi ni nadauka ka sunanka ubangi chika isaya bo na kirma ma sunanka ubangi chi Look at me, madam. How long have you been married? Seven years. Huh? Seven years. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. It never tires me to see the wonder working power of Jesus. Bringing liberty. Look at this, our precious sisters now. Just like that. And that's the end of it. That's what happens when his glory comes. The power of God is going to come on one of you. One of you who is standing now among these women. I just saw light. I will pray for everyone, but I just saw the power of God. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, let it be. Madam, over now. According to the time of life, in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, that which hinders you from giving birth, we stand and we open the gates of your womb. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Madam, look at me, this woman. Where is she coming from? Can Look at me, madam. Where are you coming from? Taraba. Taraba, what's your name? Beatrice. You believe in the power of God? Yes. How long have you waited? Seven years. Seven years. Yes. You believe God will touch you? Yes. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be over right now. Never to return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Now I pray for all of you who are here. The same way you stood here. By this time next year. You are standing before the people of God lifting your children. I declare this in the name of Jesus. I declare this. And every devil responsible, I command it goes now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help them please. Help them. Please help them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Barrenness is a spirit. It can go. It can hear the word of the Lord. Let me pray over this woman. Madam, look at me. Where are you coming from? You are from Anambra State. Yes, sir. How long have you waited? Four years. Four years. Yes, sir. You had a miscarriage. No, sir. Who had a miscarriage here? I'm seeing one person who had a miscarriage. This is recently. I want to pray for you. Who is that? Oh dear. You are under the anointing. I, I rebuke. Listen, the miscarriage you had is the last one you will ever have. Can I pray for you? Madam? Huh? Hold on. I, well, I said seven years, but I need to pray for you. I'm not seeing you seven years. I'm seeing eight, nine, ten, eleven, getting to twelve years. How many years? Eleven years getting to twelve by me. I need to pray for you. You believe in the power of God? Ah, I need to pray. For, your own is not even. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you inside a coffin. I have to pray for you. You have been having dreams like that. Is that true? Who is with the mic? Please give somebody Victor so you can do something else. Yes, sir. How many, what, what's wrong? What's the issue there? Who is there? What's wrong with the woman? What's the issue? Call that woman for me. Who is going back? Madam, what's the issue? You're also trusting for the fruit of the womb? Yes, I had a miscarriage recently. You, ha you had a miscarriage? Yes. Where are you from? I'm from Taraba, but I stayed in Mobi. Okay. I want to pray for you. You've been having dreams, seeing yourself inside coffee. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. I want to anyway, pray for you. I go the, the spirit of death. M don't worry, madam. This is why you came. You see why it's good to come to the house of God. In the name of Jesus, O oh death, where is your sting? And O oh grave, where is your victory? I decree and declare over you, madam, 
be delivered from the power of death and even after 11 years please place your hand on your stomach I don't care what the medical situation is in the name of Jesus Christ by the Lord God whose I am and whom I serve according to the time of life like Eli spoke to Hannah return with your miracle children in the name of Jesus my sister please place your hand on your stomach I want to pray for you don't be embarrassed but God needs to take something out of your stomach first before we even pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands towards you and I declare by the mercy of God everything that is not of God it leaves you right now and for I'm, see, I'm seeing more people I use you as a point of contact to pray for every other woman here trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus your days of waiting come to an end now your days of waiting come to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ Jonah please return to your seat Jonah I'm about to pray for the sick now Jonah I'm hearing a name Jonah is there someone like that Jonah Jonah if you're Jonah please just very quickly let me speak to you and then we're going to pray there is a whole family that came here the Lord wants me to touch them you are five five of you who came for this program five of you you came from the same house five people members of a family where are you one two three this is them come all of you God is giving you a visitation hold on please come please don't come at random huh? your name is Jonah where are you coming from huh? I'm Jonah Jonah yes sir. let me just pray for Jonah but I'm seeing a family of five I want to pray for you huh? who are here I'm not saying if you are five forever five in this meeting okay five bishop okay we're going to pray for bishop where, where are bishops the, the five people please come I just want to speak over you please make sure if you are not part of this don't worry we have to hurry up Jonah I want to pray for you you love Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for all of you I just saw light come on one of you the power of God is coming on one of you. Okay, just leave them. I'll pray for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. I saw the power of God coming on one of you right now. In the name of Jesus, by that anointing, I declare everything eating your body in the name of sickness. My friend, look at me. I'm about to pray for the sick, but I minister to you right now. In the name of Jesus, that which is eating up your body, let it live right now. In Jesus' name. This is a family of five. I pray for you in the name of Jesus and these adorable children. I decree and declare. What do you do, sir? Hold on. What am I? I'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing a dog. I'm seeing a cow. I'm seeing animals. What do you do? Give him the mic. I'm a veterinary Let doctor. Someone, huh? I'm a veterinary doctor. You're a veterinary doctor. Yes. The Lord is lifting. Please, please, you can go back. Don't worry. Everyone there, please just go back. Kukoma, just go back. I will pray for everybody. Please just honorably go back. If not, we'll have a lot of chaos here now. Someone just help me organize them gently. Just go back. Don't worry. Even if you are five, just receive where you are, please. The hall is limited and all of this. You know that if we have people here, um, it will require a... a, a a, a, this one if you come out here now in this whole place is, is it will be it will be rowdy so we're praying in the name of Jesus I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit the Lord revealed that you are a vet doctor and I'm praying for you may things turn around in your life right now in the name of Jesus go from glory to glory in the name of Jesus Jonah receive the power of God let things turn around in your life in Jesus name and I pray for our bishop and and his family no, don't kneel please don't kneel just stand just stand just stand in the name of Jesus Christ 
is this ulcer there's one more i'm seeing there's one more who is not here huh graces please come out where is he oh, don't worry okay if he's at the back that's all right no problem but we're praying I, I just saw more than this in the name of jesus we stand and we agree and we decree and declare over every one of these children we pray the power of god is going to come on one of your child right now i'm just seeing it in a vision there is one of you there is an elevation coming this is what i'm seeing and the power of god is coming right now on one of them you will start having strange prophetic dreams and even prophetic encounters this is this is supernatural i stretch my hands and i declare in jesus name please allow him allow him help help her please in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare the lord brings visitation to this family in the mighty name of jesus everything that needs to change we declare that it changes now and every dimension of grace required to lift this family beyond this realm in jesus name i decree and declare right now let there be that miracle you will return back full of the grace of god full of the power of the holy spirit in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you can i pray for the sick now we have to hurry up our time is gone there is a man of god here i just saw light come upon that man there is a shift about to start for you in, in your ministry there is a shift for you marvelous shift happening to you and i'm seeing the holy spirit is directing me to stand here there is someone here one of these people please bring that person the power of god is coming on one person here or the people here like i don't know if it's a minister Fear not, O warm Jacob, for the Lord is beginning a new thing in your life. Do ministry with integrity. Do ministry loving the Lord. My, are, are you a pastor? You are a pastor here in Jalingo? Where are you coming from? Takum, Tarabaste. Takum. Where is that? Takum. Okay. Look at me. I stretch my hands may you drink of this wine of the spirit you will never be the same fire on you in the name of jesus christ help him just hold him in the name of jesus christ and for the one day under the anointing too i stretch my hands over you may the lord give you a visitation may you never be the same some of you are drinking of prophetic wines we are going to do an impartation shortly but i need to pray for the sick don't bring them out don't worry our time is up in the name of Jesus Christ now how many people are trusting God for a miracle here lay your hands right now please lay your hands I want to pray for the sick here's what we'll do we just have five ten minutes for this now when I pray I'm going to declare over you by the Spirit and some of you are already healed right from yesterday even on to this moment whilst the word was coming Please, I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. You can also stand in for someone that you know and you love. Hallelujah. Now, when I pray, listen, I know that our time is gone, but we'll take a few minutes to celebrate miracles in Jalingo here. And the moment I pray, I'm going to give you an opportunity. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, I want you to run only those who have been healed have been touched please let there be a few ministers to so just vex them let's have a few people here so we can have a few testimonies and then we'll wrap up with the impartation as i pray i'd like you to agree with me with a loud amen are we together please lay your hands now a lady is going to shout right now under the anointing loud to the hearing of everyone the moment that happens the healing power of jesus will begin to move That's not the shout. The shout is coming. 
sometimes i don't know why god does these things but they are signs and wonders he does it to bring glory to the name of the lord it's a very loud shout now i can pray in the name of jesus christ come on challenge go ahead believe in amen in the name of jesus christ inside and outside following online in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every spirit behind infirmity those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out now in the name that is above all names every devil of infirmity i curse you from the bodies of god's people in the name of jesus christ now I decree and declare, be healed right now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Blind eyes open now. Deaf ears be opened now. If you're holding a crutch or you're on a wheelchair, stand up now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every bone condition be healed now in the name of Jesus. There's someone you don't hear well with your left ear. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. There's someone your legs. I don't know what happened to your legs. But check it now. A miracle has happened to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing the Lord heal several cases of pile. Severe cases of pile. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Peptic ulcer. Be healed now. There's someone you have a... I don't know what situation you have with your heart. The power of God is touching you right now. Severe migraine, pounding headache. The power of God is touching you right now. I'm seeing someone like you have ulcer, but it's like a complicated case of ulcer. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. Someone you removed one of your molars after the prayer check it now you will see a miracle there i'm seeing one two three at least four women there there are multiple lumps breast lumps for one of you i'm seeing the left side of your breast i command that devil to leave your body now every growth every cyst every malignant growth that must leave your body i command it to leave your body now rheumatoid arthritis be healed now back pain the lord is showing me someone around the lumbar area here you've been having severe pain i don't know what the problem is but right now the power of god is touching you someone your arm you're unable to lift i don't know what happened and for how long right now as i pray in jesus name may the power of god touch you in fact there is someone here when you came you could not see very clearly you could not see from a distance after this prayer you will open your eyes and you'll be surprised that there will be a restoration of your vision the lord is showing me someone you had a dream and in that dream is as if someone hit you with an object from that day you've had recurrent sicknesses right now may the power of god touch you now for the sake of time whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus who has been exalted as both lord and christ be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now now here's what i want you to do my god there are so many miracles here I want you to check yourself right now the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you that you could do what you could not do before i'd like you to come out rejoicing right now very quickly let's check them 
those outside if they are coming for the miracles to testify please allow them please allow them very quickly let's do that very quickly please let's do that very quickly let's do that very quickly let's do that very quickly my god are you seeing people come out miracles are happening in this place Jalingo, is this how you celebrate miracles keep coming creator of the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus you are a Hallelujah. Do you have a mic there? Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead. Apostle, he has been suffering from ulcer. From ulcer? Yes. What's your name? Gaston. Please sit for a moment. What's your name, sir? My name Please is... keep coming as God is... Okay. My name is Mekel Shata. For how long? Since last year. On what last happened year. to you now? On Saturday, I was... Are you seeing miracles happening in this place? I was coughing blood on Saturday. You were coughing blood on Saturday? Yes, I do too. And right now? Breathe in and out. Any pain? Any pain? Completely gone. I stretch my hands. It never returns to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Very quickly. She had lungs. Lungs? Yes. And when you gave the word. How long? What's your name, my dear? Three months. Where, where was the lump? On your legs? Yes. Sir. Come. My God. And it's gone. Where was it? Let's have another mic. Can you help us? Where was it? Oh, you can even see. I was not even even to. When you came in. Yes, sir. What happened? Friend of, and I was not even even to go uh, move. I was not able to move. And right now. Right now. I Run. Run. Turn back. Run. Any pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. Apostle, this is the case of severe migraine headache. Severe migraine? Yes, sir. For how long? For some days now. For some days? Yes, sir. And the Lord has healed you now. In the name of Jesus, we give God glory for your miracle. It never returns again. Yes, please, very quickly. She couldn't bend her knee. But you, when you get... You couldn't bend your knee. For how long? Okay, right now. Do it. She couldn't bend her knees. Gone. completely gone in the name of Jesus Christ it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit just help those under the anointing yes please go ahead someone help let's make this very very fast please let's let's do this fast this is a case of ulcer sir ulcer yes it's gone no more pain nothing how long has it been and right now and back pain bend down check yourself any pain gone completely in the name of jesus it never returns to you again yes please very quickly next person someone can help to be just checking so that one person does the announcement well okay this is the case of pounding headache and, head and tooth pain and tooth pain how long has this been three weeks in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands he'll never return to you again Amen. In Jesus name yes please Wow 17 years ulcer and migraine headache for 17 years yes and what happened to you tonight when you were praying I felt as if there was a bone that was taken out of me as if something left you yes, sir. in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God it remains permanent it never returns again in Jesus name yes please very quickly this is the case of I 
Hyenia. Hyenia for more than 10 years. Hyenia. Yes. yes. Medically verified. Yes, sir. Okay. In his neck, at the back of his neck, gone. Completely. It's gone, gone right now. Gone. My God. Yes, sir. Wow. It will never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. Very quickly, please. One can be doing the verification while another takes a testimony, so we'll save time. There are two mics there. We may not be able to, oh my God, there's so many miracles. Let's just take a few striking ones so that we can do the impartation and then we're done. This is a miracle, Apostle. What happened? She has been having pains in her left breast. Let her talk. Madam, what's your name? My name is Lois. From where? Here in Taraba? Yes, sir. Okay, what happened to you? My breast is paining me. For how long? Since last year. And what happened now? It's free. Completely. Yes, sir. No pain. Yes, sir. Check it. No pain completely. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare that pain lives forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Who brought this little boy? I'm the little boy had headache. Had he what? He, he was having headache. He came himself? Yes. Can you imagine that? What is your name? God love. Oh dear. What a smart boy. May God make you a mighty man in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be like the princes in the palace. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Very quickly. She could not open her jaw because of pain due to the Come. removal of her teeth. But now you couldn't can, open your... But now she can do that. And also, you couldn't do this? Yes, sir. For how long? Ten days today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare healing for you. Yes. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Apostle, he has headache. She has headache and leg pain. And leg pain. Yes. And for, you prayed. For how long? It's for like a month. A month. It's gone completely. I'm seeing someone, I don't know if he's inside or outside, but they brought the person, it was like some sort of mental condition. The power of God has touched that person right now. The power of God has touched that person supernaturally. Yes, please. She had ear problem before, her left ear, but now she can Your hear left ear. And the chest pain. For how long? It's been more than five months, the ear, but the chest... When I came yesterday, I used to have this ulcer issue. When I came yesterday, I felt so much pain in my chest. I managed to go home. I even got drugs. I managed to take it today. But during the prayers, I felt relief in the chest. And right no now, it's gone, it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. This Very is the case of ulcer. She couldn't breathe as a result of the ulcer pain. Ulcer. But now, she in the name of Jesus, let's just see how we can just take maybe three or four more Eight, yes, and then awesome. I'll pray for all. Sorry, we may not have the time for all of them so that we can work with time. Yes, please. Eight years, Osa, God. Osa, God. God. In the name of Jesus Christ, it disappears right now. Yes, please. Apostle, she could not lift her hands up before. but as You couldn't lift your hands before? Yes. What has happened now? Let us speak. Huh? This is my shoulder. Yes. Oh, yes, now nah, more than two years now. Nah. I cannot lift it up. I can't be spinning me. Let the devil see you lift it up. In the name of Jesus. This Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Yes, go ahead. Pain in the ear. Pain in for, the ear. Yes, for over six months now. You say six weeks. Pain six now. weeks. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Gone forever. Yes, please. This is an affliction of the legs. He had it, it was as though Pepe was on his legs and on, chains. But right the, now. Yeah, but now. Check yourself. Pain. Any pain? Any pain? Completely gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God touches you right now. In Jesus' name. Yes. Also for 15 years. Also gone for 15 years. Of God. Gone. Let's have, can we have just one, one or two more and then we're done? Just one or two more. I apologize. Just be patient. You can give the testimony in other sessions. It doesn't matter through who the testimony comes. The most important thing is that Jesus is lifted. Yes, please. Man of God, I've been operated on two of my breasts, two times. I went for two operations, long. You've been operated? Twice. 
So the operation was not correct. Last three years, I went to the village around 9 p.m. A bee from nowhere stink me in my right hand breast. Since then, anytime it, when I was coming, I held the breast like this because it was paining me severely. And the pain will extend down to my hands, down to my. And right now, what happened? The thing just disappeared. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be perfection for you. That everything that does not name the name of Christ, let it leave you right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Can we have one more? Okay, he, has, he had an accident and his vein was caught. What's so your name, my friend? Grand Peter. You had an accident? Yeah. How long ago? One year ago. What happened to you? It's an accident, sir. And then what happened? It's my vein at the back of the cut off three times. Your vein was cut off? Yes. Did you go to the hospital? Yeah, I couldn't work for one year. You couldn't work for one year? Yes. What happened to you tonight? Uh, I feel healing and deliverance. Come. What couldn't you do before? What couldn't you do before? You couldn't walk. Go ahead. Walk now. Lift your legs. Oh, I see the accident place. Check yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be perfection for you right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. His knee, sir. His knee. His knee. Yes, sir. Perfection for your knees right now. In okay. Jesus' name. Now, for everyone, I'm so sorry, we may have to stop here. But in the name of Jesus, for all the healings and all the miracles and everything that he has done. Only you are worthy of my praise. I magnify your name. For the things you have done and the battles you have won. Only you are worthy of my praise. I magnify your name. Please rise up on your feet. It's time to receive. We have to walk with time. Many years ago, the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me. And in the encounter that I had with the Lord Jesus Christ, it never tires me to tell my story and I say this because of the mandate that came from that encounter light came from Jesus to me light at its brilliance entered into me and from that time in a separate encounter the Lord gave me an instruction and he said to every city and every nation that I send you to there must be someone in that meeting that the light that came from me to you must come upon them. One of the ways that we access the anointing is through impartation. Impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities. When God sends a word to Jacob, it is because he intends for it to be lighted upon Israel. And we stand here tonight not by any qualification or merit of ourselves. The Bible says that our sufficiency is of Christ who has made us able ministers after the new covenant. For the letter kill it, it says, but the spirit gives life. But please hear me. If you can believe tonight and you open your heart, you will marvel and wonder at what the grace of God can do. We are not the inventors of this grace. We are only recipients for we ourselves have received from those who have gone ahead of us mantles are falling here tonight anointings are falling here tonight graces are resting here tonight for the king to arise for revival to return for the kings to be born for revival to return yeah ali ali yo oh. ali yo oh. ali ali yo oh. oh 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 ali ali yo oh. ali yo oh. In the name of Jesus, 
there are prophetic fountains here that need to be opened. I stretch my hands that everyone who must drink of prophetic wells, help them. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. There are Deborahs that must arise. Where are the women of power? Intercessors, prophetic intercessors that must arise over the territory of Jalingo. I call you by prophecy. Arise by the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help them please. I decree and declare there is a grace for revelation. I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, the revelatory grace. There are men who desire access and illumination into scripture. I stretch my hands. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. The grace for miracles signs wonders in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing the number 27 upon 27 people here may this grace find you now the grace for prophetic intercession the capacity to hold on to the four horns of the altar and pray revival to your territory may that grace rest upon you now The grace for influence and visibility. There is such a grace that can give a man influence and visibility. I declare may that grace come upon you now. May that grace come upon you now. The favor of the Lord. Oh, there is such a grace for favor. I decree and declare like a man let it rest upon ministries let it rest upon businesses let it rest upon men and women of god let it rest upon career people in the name of jesus christ jalingo hear the word of the lord i speak over the two leaf gates of this city in the name that is above all names i come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic in partnership with the anglican communion and the entire body of christ over this region we speak over every closed gate lift up your heads all ye gates taraba chalingo lift up your heads all ye gates and be ye lifted everlasting doors and let the king of glory come in we declare triumphant entry into this city in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your government and all your legislators in the name of Jesus we impart upon them wisdom. Wisdom to lead this state aright by the power of the Holy Spirit. The wisdom to not allow the compromises across the political scene to infect them that they will lead with dignity and integrity in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every businessman here in the name that is above all names step into a new season of glory I use the platform of the Anglican communion here to pray for every church in Jalingo here, the body of Christ, every prayer group, every prophetic apostolic platform, men and women who continue to lift up the name of Jesus like a united force, body of Christ advance over this territory. Advance over this territory in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sense of disunity within the body of Christ we declare that the spirit of disunity falls like Dagon before the ark in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for those who are students in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, 
receive the grace to excel and finish strong. If there is any spirit sent to this territory to thwart the purposes of God, we stand as a united force and we decree and declare in the name of Jesus over Jalingo, Jesus is Lord. Over Jalingo, Jesus is King. Over Jalingo, Jesus is Savior. Every local government, every place within this region will call upon the name of the Lord God of heaven in the name of Jesus. And we pray for everyone in Jalingo, Christians, Muslims, it doesn't matter the religion. We bless you with the blessings of the God of heaven. God is not the God of Christians alone. He is the God of all flesh. We pray for everyone regardless religion. We pray for everyone regardless your political affiliation. Because of this conference, Jalingo, you are blessed in Jesus name. Go from glory to glory to glory to glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, I'm wrapping up. We attract the attention of investors. We attract the attention of developers over your region. We call them by prophecy that by this time next year, may there be massive projects over your land. And anyone who will come into this city to disturb your peace, disturb your progress we build a wall of fortification and we command the forces in this city to drive them out in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now please hear me this conference continues powerfully and all through the remaining part of this conference i like for your heart to be open i like for you to be intentional about receiving from the Lord it is important for you to know that this is more than a, a conference hosted by the Anglican communion this is a visitation God stepping into a city and in the name of Jesus Christ we declare that the reason why he came would be fulfilled that indeed it will be a greater glory even for Jalingo for Taraba and for the Northeast by extension in the name of Jesus dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashka na kata branda kete kato, kete branda kata pakotos kotobre kete kete kata.